Amen. Felt like walking. Felt like walking. Felt like talking. Felt like talking. Felt like praying. Felt like running. God's been so good. God is. God is great. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy holy name. That has breath. Felt like singing. Felt like singing. Felt like running. 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 Felt like shouting. 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 Amen. Glory. will take care of me amen praise god we come into you live from the united states as also from jamaica west indies as also we're coming into you live from the philippines uh, we also in connecticut we just want to thank god for all you that are listening around the world to this broadcast as we come in in for the praises of the Lord. This is the midnight praise. This is the midnight praise. We want to give God all the praise and all the glory. And we just want to thank you all for tuning in to the broadcast. We're streaming live on radio and video taping. And we have our special guest tonight. Amen. Um, we just uh, want to just sing a shout out to um, our very own um, apostle from the Philippines, uh, Willie Spikes Jr., as he's going to be leading us into the praise as we give God praise. It's our midnight here on the East Coast, and um, I think uh, the Caribbean islands, we have um, Prophetess Denise Wellington also. Uh, Prophetess, uh, welcome on board. Uh, her midnight is about to start. Amen. Praise God. And then we are in the Philippines, and that's 13 hours different. But I just give God all the praise and all the glory as we are shouting praises to the one true and living God. Amen. 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 So I don't know who wants to start. Um, uh, Prophetess, would you go ahead and start? Uh, we have um, uh, our uh, apostle that's on the line from the Philippines who's waiting to speak to us in the praises for the Lord. Uh, could you? Uh, what? What do you want me to do at this point? Uh, we're we just starting. We just starting. I want to sing praises to God or pray pray us in, please. Okay. Greetings, 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 everyone. Greetings again to you, Dr. Marcia Abrams. Amen. It's a pleasure for me to be on the radio show. 
all says by you. Amen. And I'm happy to be here. Amen. Uh, to all my family, friends, and people across the land and around the world, if you are listening to this blog radio show, my king service, hosted by Dr. Marshall Bishop, this is Providence and Swelling Town. Greetings to you, Apostle. Glory to God. This is Providence Dennis Wellington speaking to you live from Jamaica, West Indies. And it's great. It's a great pleasure to be here. Amen. You know, I, I greet you all mighty and much this name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For it is in him I live and move and have my beings. So let us just now pray. Father, we give you thanks, give you praise for another night on the midnight praise we exalt your name mighty god we bless your name we glorify your name jesus we lift your name and i we welcome your awesome presence this morning we thank you for your holy spirit we thank you for leading us out even before we came up we thank you for going before us even now and making cooking places straight. Mighty God, we thank you for everyone that is on the broadcast. Dr. Marcia, Bishop Marcia, and, and the Apostle, all those others who are listening to all the friends. We thank you, mighty God, for them. And we praise your name and we glorify your name, Jesus. And we worship your name. Father, we thank you. We thank you that tonight is the night and this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. As the people are listening across the world, I pray that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Amen. I pray that no weapon formed against their family shall prosper. I pray that there are no weapon, no weapon formed against their businesses, their homes. No weapon formed against this radio broadcasting show shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against it in judgment. We condemn it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, as you open the ears, the eyes, and the and and the minds of every listener tonight, O oh God, let this message touch, let it reaches, let it touches lives, let it transform lives, let everyone who believe, O oh God, let everyone who believe will oh, receive our blessings from you tonight. And to every unrepented heart, touch and save their lives, mighty God. Restore, heal, deliver, mighty God. Every person that is listening under the sound of my voice, restore healing. Let them experience a miraculous night. Let them experience the signs and the wonders and with manifest manifestations, mighty God. I place every person in your hands, Amen. cover our families with your blood, Jesus. Mm. Saturate us in your anointing, Jesus. Cover the broadcasting, oh God, all the instruments that is used tonight. Amen. Oh, cover the microphones, cover the systems of technology, cover every area of this ministry, mighty God, that it will proceed, oh God, with your proceedings, without any hindrances, with, without any attack, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus Father, let your people arise and shine. Let your people praise you, Jesus. Oh, God, we will bless you at all time. And our praise shall continually be in our mouth. Amen. Father, your word declares that whosoever offereth a praise, glorify your name. Amen. We glorify your name glorify in praise you, and Lord worship God. tonight. We bless you, and your Lord word declares Thank in you. Psalms 50, verse 23, whosoever offereth a praise, mm. glorify your name, Amen. Jesus. Whosoever a praise. We lift your name on high, yes, and we worship you in Jesus. We, we give you Lord thanks, God. and we give you praise, mighty God, oh, for what you're going to do now, and what you'll continue yes, to do Lord. on the midnight praise, in the mighty Lord. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even the speaker tonight, yes. Jesus, he is about to, to, to praise you, Jesus. Yes, give him words yes. in his mouth, yes. and he will Yes, oh God, function the anointing yes, tonight, Lord. that it will flow to your servant, mighty God, mm. that it will reach, oh God, across this world. Yes. Let the praises of the people be exalted tonight. Let the praises Thank of the Jesus. people glorify your name tonight. No other name but the name, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Christ. Nazareth. 
yes. we come, oh God, in your presence, yes. that yes. every knee shall bow and yes. every tongue yes. shall yes. confess, yes. mighty God, yes. that yes. you are yes. Lord, yes. you are yes. Savior of this world. Yes. In Lord. Jesus' name yes. we pray. Amen. 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 Apostle Willie Spikes Jr., how are you there in the Philippines? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes. I want to put you on. Okay. I want to put you on speaker so I can hear. Okay. Can you hear him um, there? Okay. Say. Amen. I can hear you. Okay. We can hear you. Uh, okay. We want to just make sure we can hear you from the radio and uh, the video and. Um, I could see you very clearly <laughs> on TV. <laughs> this is broadcasting live, amen, around the world. So I, I just really want to just thank God. We're just praising God, and we just want you just to um, just bring bring forth the praises tonight. Uh, um, you just heard from Prophetess Denise Wellington from Jamaica, West Indies. Uh, she's been praising the Lord for this home, oh my goodness, over a month now. And the Lord gave her another unction for us to continue in praise for seven more days of total praise to God. Amen. So now you're 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 on you're on. God bless you. Amen. Amen. This is such a divine connection. I thank you all for receiving me from the Philippines. Uh, I am from the U.S. I've been in the Philippines now three years. And the reason I came to the Philippines, God sent me here to build him a worship center. You mm -hmm. want people to worship him. You want people to praise him. You want people to give him glory. And it's uh -oh. such a uh, uh oh. I'm gonna have to do the radio again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go keep, keep going. We can hear you on the video. Okay. I'm gonna call back into the radio. One second. I sit. So God helped sent me here to uh, really usher His presence in this nation. Mm -hmm. This nation is very important to God. And, and God is bringing uh, such a unity uh, around the world now because after I see what God's doing here. So I just want to bless him and, and thank him for allowing me to be a programmer to be able to bring his kingdom into a land that, that uh, people uh, don't know him because of the culture here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just bless him for that and also want to bless him for the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is doing such a powerful work in us, uh, getting us prepared for mm -hmm. kingdom business. And because of unity, there's such a power in unity when we serve the Lord. There's a... Uh, yeah, I'm calling, I'm calling you, you pick up. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna call again. I'm gonna have to call again. Okay, let me let me call you one more time. I'm gonna have to hang up. It's like I, I need to call you so you're on the radio part. The video part is going fine, but I need to um connect you back to the radio because it got disconnected. So okay. just one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up and then I'm gonna call again. But you can continue ministering on the video side. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, the Lord has sent me here to um, to learn a lot of secrets of, of having an intimacy with him to mm -hmm. learn how to allow that dunamis power to operate inside of me and to do things that I can't do myself. And there's a power. There's a power that's inside of us waiting for activation to be operated in such a way that we truly have the power to destroy the works of the enemy. The enemy don't have no power over us. We give it to him because of lack of knowledge. The Bible tells us we have the lack of knowledge because not experiencing our fullness and operating and following everything the Holy Spirit tells us to do. Sometimes mm -hmm. we make up our minds to do it. And when we do that, we get, we get sidetracked. The enemy loves our minds. He loves our minds because if he can get our minds uh, operating the way he wants us to operate, making choices and decisions the way he wants us to operate, we can lose focus. But a lot of times we think it's the enemy 
but it's going to be God testing us. How do we really know when God is testing us or when it's the enemy or when it's ourselves? That was very a very tricky thing for me uh, to come out here to the Philippines just by hearing his voice. It wasn't planned like this. It was just because I heard the voice of God. And like when I obeyed him and came, that's when I began to start seeing more supernatural. I ministered in the U.S. for over 25 years. But coming here, it was a whole different level. And I just want to tell the body of Christ, you are greater than what you see. On the outside, you, nah, that's not true. That's just a house that God gave you to be a food over while you're being developed inside. There's a power that's inside of each and every one of us that God is ready to activate to do something only you can do. Nobody else can do this but you. You've been created by God to do this. Whatever God has put in your path, shake that fear off, shake the pain off, sickness and disease, shake it off. All that's a part of this world, this kingdom. This kingdom that, 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 the, that the enemy have rule over, this earth that we all caught up in, we want, we want this, we want that, these things of this world. But you got to pass that. You got to get past that. Once you pass that, that supernatural work in you every day. He did create it. He created us in his image. You can declare and create a thing. You can confess a thing. You can take that word of God and put it to work. If that word ain't working for you to wear the promises in that word, you need to check yourself. You need to examine some things. You might need to go in the bloodline and deal with some stuff. But it all attests for you to destroy. It can get you in a position that you just get worn out, you get weak, you get tired. And I'm here to tell you. And I'm going to give you a little bit of my testimony. God used me in the streets of the U.S. Drug dealers, prostitutes. I didn't know what he was doing. I lost everything I had. My trucking business, my, my real estate business, my my uh, restaurant, my TV repair store. I had all that stuff. I already set goals to make $25,000 a month. I wanted the money, money. But when God stopped pulling that stuff away from me, my family thought I done lost my mind. Even today, they still think that, but that was okay. It was okay because I found what I was chasing. I found it and didn't even know I had it. People around me knew I had the anointing. I didn't know nothing about the anointing. People didn't teach me about the anointing. I didn't go to school for all that. It was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit took me to himself and began to educate me and teach me the things that man could not teach me. Then he began to teach me the lie of what man done taught the war. That he wanted his people free. The more quicker and easier way to get free is begin to get in unity. Unify yourself. Each and every person on this earth got problems. But guess what? We got the solution. We got the solution. But I had to learn, and I might also share this. I believe in sharing my testimony because it ain't me that doing it is God. When I left America, I came to U.S. I got married. I, was in the family. I used to trade stocks. I set up a stock a company. I used to do stock trading. And I thought I was going to be able to operate on that and take care of myself. But, hey, could you call me to the radio? Because I can't hear anything on the radio side, please. I need you to call in. The, the video. I'm, it says that I'm on. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Okay. But the Lord yeah, had a different I, I, He's speaking and I can't hear him on the radio, but, but it says that we're on. But the Lord the had a from the first, But I can't hear anything on the radio. 
the video and call into the video too to make sure we can hear. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But as I was sharing about my testimony coming here, uh, the devil have us chasing money. But in coming here, we're thinking I had money and a round trip ticket to get back home. But God starts showing me the needs of the people. 90% of the people in the Philippines are operating on the Catholic religion. What it does, that does, that opens the door of people worshiping idols. People don't take that serious about idol worship. But idol, idol worship opens dimensions for demons mm. to enter your life. And so you have people that have been practicing uh, this religion for over 300 years. And it's amazing. I met a pastor, you know, he got over here and he, he had his call on him and he began to try to walk in his call. But because his spouse didn't want to walk with him and his call, it blocked him. You cannot, you cannot let your spouse and nobody block your call with God. This man was suffering because he could not walk his call with God. And he was sick in his body. And I went to his house and I prayed with him. And by me praying with this guy, I felt his gift jump out of his body and jumped in me. I'm saying, whoa, what was that, God? What happened? That's when I started learning that God gave me the gift to lay hands and cast out demons. Amen. I started going around to different churches and different villages and different people's homes. And we would go and knock on people's doors and begin to lay hands on the sick. Mm -hmm. We begin to lay hands and cast out demons. We begin to feed the kids and everything. Whatever it was God did for that day, that, that's what we did. We didn't have no protocol. We just went to work. We went in action. Yeah. And God moved. He moved mightily. We would go into the hospitals. And there's a need. There's such a big need. And, the, and, and it's awesome is that the this foundation that God got here, so much wealth or resources. This place is wealthier than the U.S. The U.S. is like a matrix compared to this place. Mm. And God's want to do so much, and and by Him using me to meet certain people, I met a man that he can't read, he can't write. He's about 60 years old now, I believe. The guy got a big old resort. He got businesses. He got gas station. He got all this stuff. I said, man, how do you get all this stuff? He said, I go spend time with God. God <laughs> download into me and tell me what to do. Amen. God tell me what to do. And so in looking at a lot of uh, uh, you know, the people that he allowed, he built a resort, and like people who, you know, they done been ministering and ministering, and they got burned out, and they want places to go. He allowed people to go there. He don't charge them anything. Man, just come, pray. Oh, you know, praise God. You know, I mean, beautiful place, you know, and I'm seeing how God used a man like that. It blows my mind. Mm -hmm. The God says much more. He says much more. When people begin to line up, and plug into me, I'm going to do greater things. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, we are the people that God has chosen for this hour. Amen. We're supposed to be setting up the government of God. We don't, the government is not supposed to be running us. We're supposed to be running the government. And they are running. They're running now because they know the manifestation of God is rising. Mm -hmm. He's rising. Everybody play a part. Everybody plays such a part. So when this foundation is laid properly, he will return. He will return and he will reign. Mm -hmm. It's our job to rule and reign. We got to get a lot of stuff detox out of us. A lot of us don't believe that we don't, we can't have spirits inside of us, the wrong spirits. But oh yes, we can because they can get in our soul. I mean, too many people who have been walking with me for such a long time, and I can look back at them, I'm seeing things matter. 
manifesting 10, 15 years later when it shouldn't be like that. So we should really be looking a lot more into a deliverance ministry because it plays a very important part. The soul came from God. It gonna return to God, but it can't return dirty. It got to be clean. It must be clean. Amen. Amen. I tell you, I tell you. Amen. Amen. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited because when I came out here, I didn't came. People said, well, where's your team? I got my team. Me, the Holy Ghost, my Father in heaven, and the angels on the side of me. Amen. That's my team. I Amen. can't trust nobody else. I couldn't trust them. I tried, I tried, I tried. They keep dropping me, they keep failing me. I said, no, that's enough. God, you will either show me the way, or I'm gonna die here. And if I die, Crazy. I mean, ask for anybody, the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he showed me, he taught me, he taught me, he trained me, and he continued to train me. Through obedience, he showed right. me so much. Through obedience. Put All your right. face in that word, read that word, let that word come alive in you. That word is fire. That word is like electricity. You have to read it. If you're not reading that word, that means that devil done got something in you. You need to go and ask somebody for help. Don't be afraid to ask somebody for help. Go to the right person to help you, though. Don't go to anybody. Because they can be more messed up than you are, and they can impart stuff in you that can you mess you up worse than. And it's time for the churches in the U.S. to really wake up and smell the coffee because a lot of them don't know them demons are sitting up in these churches, tearing these churches down, pulling them down because they got no power. They're not anointed. And then those who want anointed, they want to get paid. Why you want to get paid for something you didn't pay for? You didn't pay for that. We didn't go to that cross. We did not do that. I bless it for going to the cross for me. Amen. I'm going a little bit deeper. You know, in my bloodline, you know, I had to fight witchcraft. I had to fight that stuff. Mm. I had to fight being a bastard child. I didn't know what all that stuff was. They didn't teach us that when we was coming up. They didn't want us to know. But God showed me it's time out for these principalities who ruling all religion all religion, even Christianity, all religion, he's, he's now getting rid of that Holy Spirit because they got different rules, different rules in the kingdom of God. Mm. Christ is the kingdom of God. That's the only way you're going to be able to operate through the supernatural is through the kingdom of God. Amen. Then you can change the world. Mm. We can change the whole world. But even down to the rich, as I read the other day, they done hold up all this wealth and don't know what to do with it now. Mm, yes. <laughs> they have this to turn it over to us name. in Jesus' name. They don't have to turn it over. The Bible even speaks that it's going to be like a fire on them. They're going to be burning them so bad. I mean, the silver going to be turning to rust. The gold going to be turning to rust. The Bible tells us it right there. It's that time. They're going to be begging you to take it from them. Mm. Because they don't follow the enemy so long, the enemy done took care of them, but he can't take care of them no more. They done. They done. Mm. They are done. And I'm so happy to see it because, you know, if I'm going to fight in the spirit, give me something to fight. I don't want to fight stuff five years, 10 years, 15 years ago. Give me something new. Mm -hmm. He created us to do this. Amen. We are very powerful. And don't think our uh, prayers is not being heard and the things we've been trying to do is not being done. Yes, it's being done. Mm -hmm. He's just testing you. Mm. He's testing you whether you're going to quit or give up or you're going to press on through. I'm going to press on through. <laughs> you know, in Jesus' name. That's it. You're going to press on through. And it's almost like being on the, the one yard line with the football and you got one yard to get across there to win the game. Mm. Is you going across or are you going to stay right there? Got to cross over. 
Got to cross over. Amen. That's why he said, great heat is in me, the heat is in the world. And you know, when you really look at this whole thing, it's almost like looking at Job, what Job went through. Mm -hmm. Job was attacked by supernatural invisible beings mm. against his flesh. We, being, we, we are the same system here. We are flesh, but we're spiritual. But we're supposed to master it. We are masters of the spirit in development. Mm -hmm, Dr. Abrams. Mm -hmm. We've been truly created to destroy the works of the devil. Could you open it up? Because it's, it's, it's blocked up on my side. I can't. The video is going well. That's why I wanted you to call in on the video. I keep getting an error for the radio side. And, and the, the uh, apostle, he's. When Jesus well. Christ, Joshua, the video is fine. Died. The, the radio. When he died, he fixed everything for us. When we got salvation, everything call was there. But one, you had to pay up four, four, nine. Pick that up and everything go the way you want it to go. No, you got to be tested. Your soul got to get back in line with his kingdom business. You got to know who you are mm -hmm. and who you are. See, because the enemy that comes in the bloodline, he already got contracts against you mm -hmm. to make sure that when you get to get plugged into your destiny he tried to use that charge against you in the courtroom of heaven so therefore you don't get your stuff so you don't prepare your destiny so you have to begin to learn who you are show up in some of them places that you think you're afraid of you're not afraid you just ain't sort of supernatural operate to that level yet God have equipped us, men and women of God, God have equipped us with a power, a dunamis power that raised the Christ from the dead. It's all down inside of us, capped up, ready to come out, ready to do the work that is supposed to be ordained for God to do through mm -hmm. us. He's doing it through us. We're not doing it, but we have to have the courage and strength and boldness to move forward in it. When I went to some of these churches here to uh, do ministry, on the video. Okay, the and sometimes when I'm thinking I'm just going to give a word, the spirit manifests in there and start delivering. He's special delivering you. He yeah. get on those quick over here. No, just 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 click on the video so you're on the video. And you have to begin to look and pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you through that area because there's too many people walking around you with demons in them. And they're very intelligent. They're just as smart as you are, very intellectual as you are. They ain't gonna be something you're gonna see just slobbing out their mouth or, you know, looking foolish or stupid. They're smart. The assignment is to rob you of the very precious thing that you have, your soul. We take it too lightly about our soul. No preacher, no pastor, no bishop, no apostle can fix that for us. We have to fix that and then join to like-minded people so we can be more powerful. And that's what the, that's what the enemy is doing. He's robbing people up with their souls and he's joining them together thinking that they're going to be a day that he's going to conquer the heavens again. But that ain't going to happen. But our job is to make sure that he don't continue to do show himself a bad influence here on this earth realm. This earth realm belongs to us. Mm -hmm. This is our playground. And right now we're supposed to be equipped in ourselves. So therefore, when this wealth gets transferred, we don't have all that mess inside of us that we go back doing like the world again. Mm. We got to be on focus of kingdom business. Who can be blessed? What ministry can we build? What, what, what do we need to build some homes for these the elderly now? What food pantry did we need to do? What, what 
trucking industry we need to set up so we can continue to apply food for our own system. Mm. We're in control. We are in control Amen. through the word of God. Amen. So I bless God. I, I bless him. I bless the Holy Spirit every day. I seek his face every day. I need him. I can't do this without him. I don't want to do this without him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I, I, you know, this praise and worship song, God keep reminding me of King David. Of King David, you know, he paid his worshipers. The world can pay their people, but we can't pay the praise and worship leaders. We can't pay the intercessors. Those are the ones that get hit hard. They get hit real hard. I was interceding for a man of God for over 20 years. Behind the scenes. God stopped me from doing everything I did. Now I was diligent in what I what I what I did and what I learned and how I had to go through. I learned how to press. I learned how not to weep. I don't know what weeping was. I had to patch it myself up and keep pushing. Allow him to bring the healing. Allow him to bring deliverance. Allow him to bring what I needed. I can tell you many miracles that God have done. Even back there in, in 2000, when I got married, my, my second wife, God, she had three girls. I got married with four women with no job, no income, no car, no house. Mm. He told me to do it because he wanted to show himself mighty, and Amen. he did. Mm -hmm. Brand new home, cause. Kids went to the college, got degrees, Man. doctors. Come on, that's the God I serve. Praise God. He took me. He took seven years of my life. He took seven years of my life to train me. This thing mm -hmm. just come because I studied the Bible. Mm -hmm. It came through trials and tribulations. Amen. It came in obedience serving another man of God while he grew and you going low. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's an awesome guy. Amen. But in his, in the kingdom of God protocol, it's not like this world. It's nothing like this world. Mm -hmm. The enemy used us to build him a kingdom out of this world. And God said enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's your stuff. It all belongs to you, your children, your grandchildren. Amen. And everything, I mean, they don't got so serious and deep with this thing. The enemy is building robots like us now to take us out. Mm. What are you doing? Mm. They're building robots like they look, you could walk right by a robot and this thing look just as human as me and you, and you walking by and you can't even discern whether it's a robot or a human. Mm, wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we got to be able to connect with the power, God's power, Yahweh's power, Yahuwah's power, Yahshua's power, the Holy Amen. Ghost power. We need to know. Evangelist Jonathan is on the we line. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He's worthy. And, I, and, and, you know, they like the guy was telling me a long time ago, I see a lot of the strategies the enemy is doing. Especially in the U.S. because the U.S. is a very, very important country. The wickedness that these 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 people do behind the scenes, I'm here to tell them. If you listen, listen well. Your time is up. You're done. Amen. You have to speak the things as it is. That's why God created us. They didn't blow up their trade center for nothing. There was a sign. That was a signal sent to us to tell us that we're not in control. But that's not true. We are in control. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I bless the Lord for being. I've been in a lot of places uh, uh, with the Holy Spirit, uh, moving with him. Um, and he, he took me to the trade center. I was at the trade center before that thing blew up. One year before it blew up, God sent a team up there. God sent a team to pray for that place because there were special people was not going to lose their life. We got to know who we're serving. 
There are some very strategic things that God is sending through dreams now. We need to write our dreams down. And the enemy is going to try to send some stuff in your dreams too to try to rob you of what God is sending you. This warfare that the enemy is trying to do to us, he, he's stirring it up to another level. He's trying to stir it up to a level that you've never been before, now you understand, so he can try to trick you and deceive you. Mm. Ask God for clarity. Cover your mind. Cover your, use your heavenly language 15 minutes before you go to bed at night. Saturate mm -hmm. your atmosphere. You take control of your atmosphere. Read that word into the atmosphere. Put that charge in the atmosphere for you be in control, not them. They're going to be bowing down to you. Amen. Amen. To keep you in district. And the main thing, we all know this, but why we allowing it to happen? Why we allow it to happen? Because we haven't got, got control of our souls yet. Our souls are so messed up. We need that fire, that dunamis, to be able to get inside of that soul and clean us out so unity can come. So therefore, when God speaks to one, he can begin to uh, write a paragraph. You should be able to write sentence. I should be able to write sentence. The next person be able to write sentence, and we have our instructions. I see that happen before. Amen. That's when you know you're operating in the power of God. The most He's an awesome creator. That's why he told his son, you're not going back down there. You're going to sit right here on my right hand side until I make your enemies your footstool, meaning he's going to use us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I just bless God for this time. Amen. Because I didn't, as being an intercessor, uh, coming from back in the uh, early 90s. Amen. Fighting the spirit in the streets. Seeing how the demonic spirits been taken over and you try to explain this stuff to people, but no one would listen because they didn't understand. I didn't understand until I started reading my Bible. Then the Bible started coming alive. The Bible becoming give me truth. Mm -hmm. And then some Bible I had to 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 go to another level to understand what. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I was being able to. I never fasted three days, seven days, fourteen days, uh, twenty days, forty days, up to sixty days, but it took the power of God. I would go get in a hotel and I would rent that hotel and I would stay in there and I would, you know, I would drink water in that word until God talk. Amen. Amen. You have to have a clear instruction from God. Mm -hmm. Everything I supposed to do in my life has already been written. I just need to plug into it and obey it. What he tell me. And so I am very excited for what I see because. The way he's moving right now is like the door open for everything he told me to do. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and I just did it. My wife said, well, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I said, well, okay, God said, do it. Let's do it. Amen. We set it up. Mm -hmm. And then once it all gets set up, it's like everything just fit perfect. Everyone showed up. Everyone got things in order. Everything did what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is real. The kingdom and please pray for all the men and women of God every day. Every day, pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm. Because the enemy know them. They got a bullseye on their back. He know who they are. And I done see a lot of powerful men and women of God and got taken out because I started trying to call. I haven't talked to a lot of people that I came up with. I started calling and talking to them and finding out that they're not here anymore. And these churches, you will have to, everybody's an intercessor. Everybody in that church is an intercessor. Mm. Pray for your men and women of God. You cannot allow them to do all the work and 
we do nothing. That's like, you know, allowing the enemy to come in and see him jump on the pastor and you don't do nothing. Hmm. The Bible really is not a religious book. It's a tool to equip you to war, mm -hmm. to win, Amen. to rule, to reign, to dominate. They put the wrong doctrine inside of us, and then we believe. You know, I mean, they, they made your own belief system. They made you a belief system. That wasn't God's belief system. But he loved us so much. He loved us so much that the Holy Spirit will just take the wisdom to operate through the Holy Spirit to give us a chance to grow up mature and eat the meat of what the word is really saying in our lives. And you can't just, to, to be able to operate in the kingdom, you have to live this thing. You have to eat it, sleep it, dream it. I mean, it's 24 hours, 26 if you can get it in there. <laughs> 24 7. Amen. How did really because so much stuff done came inside, and I'm speaking for myself. So much stuff was in my bloodline. When I got rid of some, some of it, something else came. When I got rid of that, something else came. So it's a process. Mm. If you don't find but one person that really can understand you and what you are doing, hold on to that one person. Mm -hmm. Because see, if you get too many there, you'll have too many voices speaking in your head. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna wanna talk you out of it. Hmm. Look at Christ when he went to that cross. They wanted to talk him out of that. If, it, if they'd have talked him out of that, we wouldn't be who we are right now. Amen. And I'm gonna share this why uh, why wow, it's, it's, it's only that we need to learn more about the world, this planet we're living on. We need to learn more, not just in the United States. Hmm. The enemy is cunning, hmm. very cunning. He got everybody blocked in that one little place thinking that that's, that's it. It's not. It's more. Much more. But like I said earlier, you got all these different religions, but each religion got its own demonic spirit ruling that area. Mm. But you got one principality that ruling them. It's a protocol in the demonic world. But all you have to do is take out the major one, the rest of them will fall. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Holy Spirit is right now. He ready to take out the major one so the rest of them can fall, so therefore some souls can be saved and get into the kingdom of God and understand what the kingdom is all about. Mm -hmm. It's time to win. Amen, it's time to win. <laughs> he's, he's in the winning mood. It's time to win. Amen, glory. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you know, do you really know you're not poor? Do you really know you're not broke? Do you really know that you're not sick? Amen. But your body will tell you that. Mm. Because it had a taste of that demonic world. It's a liar. Mm. It will lie to you. God has got so much set aside for all of us. And I ain't, I'm not talking about just there in America. You know, I have seen so much wealth. They say, they, they look at the Philippines like, the people poor? No, they're not. They're really not. It's just how the principalities did some stuff to mess up the economy over here. But these people are not poor. Mm. The cars are paid for, the houses are paid for, they got farmland, they got animals, they're eating. They don't even have to go to the store. Mm. Amen. They don't have debt. None. 
I mean, some, you know, they got their own thing going on, but even the wealth. Like I was asking my sister, have you read in your Bible by Ophir, where the Queen uh, Sheba been hauling her gold to King Solomon? Do you know where that place is? It's the Philippines. Do you know that? Mm. God created wealth for you. His own resources, pearls, diamonds, gold, and it's waiting for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is waiting for you and for you to set up your own financial uh, institution for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's for you to begin to get your brothers and sisters out of poverty, out of debt. The enemy got a, a massive destruction plan to come against the body of Christ. Prepare yourself. Don't you know you even got uh, uh, right now? You know it's, it's been amazing to me, and I I speak what God said, tell me to speak, and I also want to uh, open people's eyes to the fact that the things that China doing. Everybody is afraid of China, but the United States owe China a lot of money. Yes, that's true. A lot of money. Yes. Is they coming to your house telling you the decisions and stuff they're doing? No, they're not telling you. Do you understand the United States is a corporation? Yes. And you are a product of the corporation? Yes. You don't supposed to be in that bondage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God done set up ways to get you out of that too. I had to learn all these different things before God released me. Amen. He do not want his children in bondage. Like he said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Let Amen. my people go. Glory. He wants you free to worship him. He don't want you to worry about money and sickness and pain and, and all those different things. You are very blessed people. There's a fire in you that God put inside of you, but you got to open your mouth. Everything I'm saying right now, I'm 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 I'm, I'm speaking it, but um prophesying it in the atmosphere so it can come to pass. Somebody got to say it. Amen. God need a voice. He need a voice. He need when, when we come together in unity, say, what's going on over there? Oh, back, thank you, Holy Ghost. He brought me back to China, okay? China, they're sending people to the U.S. right now. They're changing their names, they're giving them American names, and they operate like Americans. And they're recruiting for religion. Mm. And you got a Chinaman in the United States, in New York, about to run from president. Mm. And you got a China in the Philippines who bring drugs in the Philippines to keep the economy and the people poor. Mm. Hello. Mm. We need to wake up. We need to get in the spirit and deal with this stuff in the spirit. And not only deal with it in the spirit, you're busy physically. Mm -hmm. Make things happen. We got it. We are smart people. God gives us wisdom and knowledge to do these, to make things better for people. Mm. But at the same time, they're constantly trying to plot our demise. Mm. It's time for us to look out for our children now. It's time for us to look out for our grandchildren now. Mm -hmm. You know, it may not look like it, but I got great grands. That's how God sustained me. I got great grandchildren living in America, and I want to see them happy. Amen. I want to see them prosperous. I want to see them operating in the manner that God gave me. I want this manner to keep on flowing. We got that power. We have to open our eyes. We have to make sure that the Holy Spirit has really uh, brought us in such a unity. Because one of the things that I was after when I first got saved back in the 90s, I thought everybody's supposed to love everybody. Mm -hmm. When I got that feeling of the Holy Ghost, I went in there to church with my hands trying to love with everybody, trying to fix everybody's problems, trying to do this, trying to, get, trying to make it happen. Because he said it can happen. Amen. Amen. So I know 
the power in unity. I experienced such a thing in the Philippines. I can't speak Tagalog. I can only speak English. I'm around millions of people that I can't speak the language. Mm-hmm. But when I go in the services and see how God operates, mm. I don't need to speak the language because he's speaking for me. Amen. He do the talking supernaturally. I just show up. Because he taught me to have faith. Faith is a very powerful tool. Amen. It's a very powerful tool mm-hmm. in anything we do. And I bless him for training me because I know it's not me. And I want to encourage anyone that's truly doubting where you are or where you may be or what. No, 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 no. When you feel it like that, press. When you feel that old demonic atmosphere come and you know something wrong in that house, you praise. Praise the Lord. Praise Mm -hmm. his name. Stop calling out on him. That's where you got to call heaven down on you. Like I tell, if, like I tell people sometimes, it's like a sports, like you playing basketball. You got a different team. So when you feel that thing really, really strong on you, stop praising God. Because what it is, those assignments who are assigned to you now trying to make you deny yourself, trying to make you speak negative out of your mouth, make you curse your own self by using your own mouth. Watch your confession. Amen. Be careful. Think before you speak. Always think before you speak. Because that's how cunning he is. He know if he gets you to say something quickly, he got you. Mm. People Amen. just want to, they, 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 they're thinking that, you know, the Bible tells us we deal with uh, principalities, the power of the air, the God of the world. What do you mean? So everybody thinking, well, the God of this world, they thinking about, oh, it's, it's the Father in heaven. No, it's not. That's deception right there. Satan is the father of this world. He's the father of lies. We was born into that. And it's hard for a lot of people to digest that. Read your Bible. Just because when we got saved and when we got the, the spirit of God, the power that when he told Adam, okay, Adam, if you eat this tree, you surely will die. What died? The spirit part of him died. Then he had to go be a slave to the flesh. But Christ came and gave us back. He gave us back that, that power, that spiritual being. So now we got it, but we ain't doing anything with it. It's like a, a door that's in the soul that's been locking it back. It's been, been locked, keeping it from flowing. You got to get the soul right so it can flow. Everything you speak should come to pass. Amen. And I'm talking about good things like that. So Yahweh is waiting for people to get his plan and work the plan. We're supposed to be working full time for him. When I left all my businesses and, and money was tight and people would see, I'm riding on a nice car, but now I'm catching the bus, I'm walking, I'm maybe riding a bike. The guy done lost his mind. Yeah, I did for heaven because I had to get what was chasing me, that power. And we shouldn't allow that power. And I think this is a part of the manifestation of the power that I've been praying for people in the United States because I'm 13 hours ahead of you. So therefore, mm-hmm. you can be sleeping and I'm praying for you and God can move on you quickly while you're sleeping. Amen. Praise God. That's one of the reasons why you sit me here to build a prayer team to teach the, these, these Filipino people how to pray, really pray, not just baffle prayers but really how they engage the enemy to win on the battles. Amen. But I learned a lot of people are so lazy, they won't even send any prayer requests. Mm. How can you help people like that? Mm. And I know we all know a lot of people like that. 
But I say, you know, the power of God is real. We know it's real. But now we have to begin to apply that word. We have to bring that unity. We start really coming together in unity. Even as I'm speaking right now, there's a lot of people been bound. They, don't, they know something wrong, but they don't know what it is. God is releasing you now. Amen. The anointing is going forth right now. That's the reason you're on this line tonight. So you can get free. Your mind can get free. Mm. The devil, I'm battling your mind so long, and you don't even know which way it's up. But the anointing will break the yokes and set the captives free. Mm -hmm. With all this power, even when the, 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 the sister been praying earlier, the anointing began to release on this line. So I know the power of God. There's a lot of anointing on this line right now. Amen. Some people who have been in bondage and don't know which way to go. I know how that felt. But I know the right way to go was that Bible to him. Man can't help you. No matter how anointed we are, we are just there to help show you the way to who is the true source. Because if I can get you to plug into the true source, now you can come back and partner with me to do what I need to do. Amen. So, I bless God to know that there's a, a powerful people that's joining together and working together in unity for the kingdom. Because I was saying, God, how long are you going to allow this to continue like this? Amen. 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 We want to thank you so much for this, the powerful um, testimonies of what's going on there in the Philippines. And, you know, we just want to just just continue in praise as we we've dedicated this time just to praise the Lord. So how do you, uh, in the Philippines, um, how do they praise and how do they send forth praise and praise? Because that's what we want to do is just continuously praise him for the next seven days of just total praise and just, just thanking him. So how would you um, uh, teach your people to praise God? How do you do that with your ministry? In the ministry here, we um, everybody have a little guitar. We have a guitar and we sing. They sing in the gallo. Uh, in the gallo, singing is almost like... Uh, closer to the Hebrew language than the English language. Mm. So uh, when they're singing in Tagalog, you can tell the difference in the atmosphere. You can tell the difference uh, when it's coming from the spirit man, uh, how it's shifting, especially when they're filled with the, the glory of God. Uh, you can feel things start to shift. Um, uh, Mostly, they, they have the, the they have drums and, 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 and uh, other instruments as well. So, um, they, it's kind of hard to, to, to explain the the, the version of speaking. Okay, mm -hmm. let me just get out of here. Thing, please. Okay. Um, is singing the singing praise for about 30 minutes and then they do the speaking in tongues for about 30 minutes uh then they, they bring the word of god uh in 30 minutes and, and so and we do that for about uh, an hour and a half and then after the, the spirit moves then we allow the holy spirit to lead us into uh what's the next phase he wants to go into uh, whether it's deliverance for us whether knowledge for uh, healing or whatever the case may be, we allow the Holy Spirit to do that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Well, we're gonna we're gonna um. I just got a a message from Evangelist uh, Jonathan Rivers. He wanted to know um, if we missed the praise segment, but I wanted to um, just introduce you to our group because we want to continue in praise that you there in the Philippines. Like when we finish praising, it's midnight here. Um, and then in the Caribbean island, it's getting ready to be mil midnight in Jamaica. And you are, 
Uh -huh. What is it? It's now, it's now 12 o'clock here in Jamaica. Yeah, so it's now midnight just started. So we're going to start the midnight praise and in, in, in going into the Philippines, which is 13 hours. We want you to join with us to, you know, have those. Uh, you say you praise for one hour and a half before you start service. That is amazing. Um, that is, uh, I remember when I was stationed in Korea, uh, Dr. Cho, he prays for five hours before he even went into the church. Five hours of praising God before, and he became one of the largest Pentecostal church in the world. Yeah. Amen. That expand across the, the world. So, it, you know, we're just uh, introducing you. And I, I thank you, uh, Apostle, for coming on tonight uh, with your, your wife. I saw her there a moment, um, you know, um, but we just want to thank you for how God has joined us together in the praise, in the praise and, and to do many things. And I pray if it's God's perfect will, I'll come to the Philippines. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I was there before, but now we're going to come. I was there on a military assignment, but now I'm going to go for God's assignment. Amen. And it's just fabulous how God is bringing us together. Um, uh, 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 evangelist um, uh, Jonathan um, Rivers, uh, I want him to come and, and his wife to come with me, you know, and, and um, a prophetess Denise, um, she's, she's on the line for her to travel to the Philippines too. We got so much work to do and uh it's all in in the matter of praising him and blessing his holy name so i, I just thank you for coming on and you your awesome testimony um um the uh john uh, uh evangelist jonathan says something like that's wonderful fire <laughs> He called, <laughs> he blinked, he's, he's on the video with us. Um, I don't know, the radio just blinked out. We were on the radio and then I couldn't hear. So I, I clicked the button and then I couldn't get back on the radio. But sometimes God allows, uh, this is like a private session. You know, it's video um, live stream, but it's a private session. Sometimes God allows that because the radio is public, the whole world is hearing. And you're, you were given instructions on um, different principalities and things like that. So it, it's, it's just uh, uh, evangelist uh, Jonathan always talk about the uh, warfare and things like that. And prophetess always, she talks about different realms. So I don't know. We're, we're in the praise. And I believe it's still a part of the praise, praise to understand the different elements that are spiritual, supernatural elements that are trying to keep us down. So I, I really thank you for just, you know, how you came into the praise. You know, I, I don't know. Um, Prophetess, do you have anything you want to um, say? Mm -hmm. Prophetess Wellington? Uh, amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I just want to thank God for uh, Pastor Willie and his wife, his beautiful wife, even though I'm not seeing them, but just, just um, in the spirit, glory to God, you know, he has such a wonderful testimony and how they, they he had started out and what, what jumped out at me was when he said, you know, he, he, he just praised God and he, he was sharing his testimony about how Oh God, just use him and the power of God came into his life. He mm. lost many things and that reminds me of me. I lost everything, you know, before, it, you know, because God wanted me to pay attention to him. God wanted me to be sold out, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I was operating a business. I was operating a business in 2012, thereabout, and you know, whilst I was operating the business there, I was transacting business, I would still have my prayer and fasting going on, and I would still be doing um, church, and mm -hmm. you know, but somehow, somehow, God stripped me of everything, because mm -hmm. he says, there's too much for, for you to do, there is too much for you, my work to do. To be established and carry forward, and so that's what jumped out, popped out at me when when Pastor Apostle spoke of he, mm -hmm. you know, having all these things that God has blessed him with, 
and then it came down to nothing, zero. Mm -hmm. You know, that is such a wonderful testimony. And God says, you overcome, according to Revelations mm -hmm. um, 11, 12, and verse 11. It says, you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of your testimony. Glory to God. And that in itself is a great experience that will take the apostle to another level in Christ. Mm -hmm. Hadn't he experienced all this, then he would have not have known the, 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 the powerful ministry that God has given him. And he would not have known how useful he is within the world. And God take him from America to the Philippines because there is a work in the Philippines to do. Mm. You know, God places people strategic. You know, God assigned people. Your assignment was to the Philippines. And mm -hmm. you know, one of the things, is we got to know our assignments. We have to know our assignment because we are born of God and we are in Christ and we are in the kingdom of God's dear son mm -hmm. and because of this mm -hmm. God would have deployed us God would have deployed us his people strategically anywhere everywhere he wants to send you so he may have me in Jamaica for a season he may have a uh, uh, bishop into America for a season and then he take her into different parts of the world to go into the nations mm -hmm. and to preach this gospel mm -hmm. and then he took you apostle really from America and place you strategical in in the Philippines that is your assignment mm -hmm. and God has to give you a God-given assignment to reach this world to, to reach nations Amen. to, to, to propagate this yeah, gospel to propagate this gospel to reach the loss at any cost mm -hmm. you know and so it is very important that you recognize your your call of destiny Amen. you recognize the call of destiny and here we are you know as a team putting this thing together mm -hmm. on the midnight praise in the casting praising god and so everything will come together because and god will ignite god will ignite our spirits god will ignite our our being because we are we are we are beings in christ we are, and, and we are in Christ. And so wherever you are, it doesn't mean that you can't affect where you are. And wherever mm -hmm. you are, it doesn't mean that you can't affect Jamaica. It doesn't mean that you can't, you still can't affect America. It doesn't mean that you you still can reach the Africa. God mm -hmm. placed you there tr strategically to carry out a mission. Mm -hmm. And it is very important Let's that your purpose, moment. your purpose yes. be fulfilled. It's very important that your purpose and your assignment here on this earth is fulfilled because of your destiny. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I, I believe that God is opening up the territories to, uh, for the praise to bless his holy name. This is a big, big thing. And uh, he's now given us control of finance. You know, billions and billions of dollars are, are now in the, the church's hands my hand i am the church right you are the church right and we are the church of the living god to take care of his people right and uh, i'm so excited about what god is doing um because not only he gave us control of the airways the radio the television video you know um there's no accident that over four million people watch everything that that i'm doing everything that i'm doing whether it's linkedin or the social media a lot of numbers right why because god is doing a new thing in us and and i like how um apostle apostle willie uh, spike jr said that we are in control of everything i i really like that because we need to know that you know, uh, we're, in, we're in control of government. <laughs> Praise Amen. God. God Amen. is government. God is the one who, who, who puts people in position, in places. Uh, you know, it is God who establishes things. And no one else can run things except God 
put them there. Amen? Amen. For his divine glory and purpose. Amen. Amen. So um, we, 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 we're right now we have um, Dr. Wilder from Connecticut. Um, uh, we have um, Dr. Lizzie Lewis in Colorado Springs. We have on the line um, Denise, Doc, uh, Pro Prophetess Denise Willington out of uh, Jamaica. We have a prophet a apostle in Florida. Now we have the Philippines connected to our broadcast. I'm in North Carolina. We have people in Maryland watching, you know, and I'm like, look at what God is doing. This ministry is going to take off so much that everybody else is going to duplicate what we're doing on the video and TV and so forth. So you will see this particular broadcast um, live stream once I once we finish it'll upload it'll be uploaded to the different other segments and you'll be able to see a link with your video and I want you to send it forward I need to be because we want to praise God we want to so a lot of people don't know how to praise God it's, it's the praises that that causes you to have the breakthrough the breakthrough that you were talking about is the spiritual forces that surround you with, um, you know, Catholicism. You're talking about different amen, idol worshipers and things like that. Yeah. Oh, we have, oh, we have a mighty man of God on the line. There's, there's, there's amen, a amen. evangelist. Do you have something to say about what uh, the apostle was speaking on, please? Yes, the um, um, greetings in the mighty name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Greetings to one and all. Um, greetings to those, hallelujah, in the Philippines, to, to you, archbishops. Greetings, hallelujah. Greetings to everyone, hallelujah. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's totally mind-blowing mm -hmm. because he said, he said a few months ago, and it has taken place. Uh, he said, the Lord said, spoke and said, I'm going to blow the minds of my obedient children. Mm -hmm. However, the devil heard that too. But in in the what we were talking about about the praise, um, there are just like with uh, what the apostle said from from um, the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I can relate to that because sometimes here at Rooted in Christ in Connecticut. Um, we don't we don't have a word. We have a word prepared, but it doesn't come forth. What comes forth is a whole service of praise mm. um, of of individuals getting prostrately laid in the floor. Mm. Um, yeah, just just getting just getting um, uh, um, what is it slain in the spirit, Amen. and and part of that is to do with the times we are living in and those who choose to take advantage of it. I know that um, I wasn't able to, forgive me, I wasn't able to um, um, be on, but I was listening because I'm trying to write up some information before six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> However, we, I, I just enjoy the conversation and the positive information and testimonies that are coming forth. Mm -hmm. um, that's it's wonderful, just wonderful. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, evangelist. He